Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, bless his holy name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, bless his holy name. Come, bring our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Bless his holy name. A mighty God is the Lord. A great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaved by his hand. Indeed, how good is the Lord, bless his holy name. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Indeed, how good is the Lord, bless his holy name. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, Heart not your hearts as a Mariba, as on that day at Mass or in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me though they saw my work. Indeed, how good is the Lord, bless his holy name. For forty years I was weird of these people. And I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Bless his holy name. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Bless His holy name. Firmly I believe and truly God is three and God is one And I next acknowledge duly Manhood taken by the Son And I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified, and each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died, simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely, solely, Him the holy, Him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host. To the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. 
have mercy me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring at your goodness. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favour to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice. Holocaust offered on your altar. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Rejoice, O Jerusalem, since through you all men will be gathered together to the Lord. Let all men speak, and give God thanks in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, the holy city, he will afflict you for the deeds of your sons, but again he will show mercy to the sons of the righteous. Give thanks worthily to the Lord, and praise the King of the ages, that his tent may be raised for you again with joy. May ye cheer those within you who are captives, and love those within you who are distressed, to all generations forever. Many nations will come from afar, in the name of the Lord God, bearing gifts in their hands, gifts for the King of Heaven, generations of generations, will give you joyful praise. Rejoice and be glad for the sons of the righteous, for they will be gathered together and will praise the Lord of the righteous. How blessed are those who love you. They will rejoice in your peace. Blessed are those who grieve over all your afflictions, for they will rejoice for you upon seeing all your glory, and they will be made glad forever. Let my soul praise God, the great King. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Rejoice, O Jerusalem, 
since through you all men will be gathered together to the Lord. Zion praise your God, who has sent out his word to the earth. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem, Zion praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He has established peace in your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He shouts down snow white as wool. He scatters hoar frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends for his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations, he has not taught them his decrees. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Zion, praise your God, who has sent out his word to the earth. With Christ I hang upon the cross, and yet I am alive, or rather, not I. It is Christ that lives in me. True, I am living here and now this mortal life. But my real life is the faith I have in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I call to the Lord the Most High, for he has been my help. I call to the Lord the Most High, for he has been my help. May he send from heaven and save me. I call to the Lord the Most High, for he has been my help. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I call to the Lord the Most High, for he has been my help. Through the loving mercy of our God, the rising sun has come to visit us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour. In the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, and save from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. 
to make known to his people the salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Through the loving mercy of our God, the rising sun has come to visit us. Christ is the image of the unseen God, the firstborn of all creation, and the first to be born from the dead. All things are to be reconciled through him, because he made peace by his death on the cross. We pray to him. Lord Jesus, come to us today. We have been baptised into your death. May we be cleansed of greed and envy, and clothed in the strength and gentleness of your love. Lord Jesus, come to us today. We have been sealed with the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Confirm us in your service and help us to bear witness to you in the society in which we live. Lord Jesus, come to us today. Before you suffered, you longed to eat the Passover with your disciples. As we take part in your Eucharist, may we share in your resurrection. Lord Jesus, come to us today. You continue to work in your faithful people. Create through them a new world, where injustice and destruction will give way to growth, freedom and hope. Lord Jesus, come to us today. At the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, bestow a full measure of your grace on us, who are gathered here in prayer, as you work within us to keep us in the path of your commandments, May we receive consolation in this present life and eternal joys in the next. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in you, with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us, and keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.